Well, well, well. Good morning. Immediately. Or else. Or else what, cat? Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow! Trying to think of a worse father figure character that we're still meant to sympathize with and not see as an awful person in any media that comes close to surpassing Chicken Little's dad. But I can't think of anyone. He's the final boss of horrible dads. Noise canceling headphones are not enough. I need to be in a pitch black basement for a solid week. For the record, this will not stop me from playing Legend of Zelda at this very moment. Two things I need today's youth to know. Anything the government says is propaganda, and 99% of vegetables taste better roasted. You spelled boil wrong. Oh, oh, my apologies. Anything the government says is boiled. I... I would follow him to the end of the earth. I would follow him to a garage sale. Yeah, same thing. Oh, shoot, I forgot I need to post to get popular. Okay, how do I appeal to Tumblr? Um, uh, you guys like frogs? Art? You want some art of a frog? Heck yeah, I do. Just submerge me in the goop, that'll fix me. Soup for the soul? Oh no, it's the goop. Hey, why is the goop glowing monster energy green? Don't worry about it. That's uh, a healing color? Probably bad RPG ideas. D&D. &D. But the DM has a soundboard that contains the laugh, cheers, and boos of a sitcom's live studio audience. OP, change your URL. Andy, write that down. Using my boyfriend's laptop, and the first thing I see is the Wikipedia for beef stew where every link is purple. He just really wanted to know about the stew. And they say burnets with dimples can't stabilize the reactor core. Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. You and me both, Rainbow Dash. Take me down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are. Remembers I'm playing at a gay bar on Bear Night. Men! You know what they say, you snooze, you lose, and it looks like you snossed and you lost. Why does that work so well? <coughs> Why are you following the boobs and ass artist? Why do you think I'm following the boobs and ass artist? Do you think I go to the grocery store ironically too? And guess what I'm about to eat like a bag of groceries? You ever have something you absolutely need to be doing, but you decide to just not do it? Yeah, me, me neither. <laughs> Who'd do that? Definitely not me. Nothing to see here. Oh, no. Ah, uh, such a scrumbly, scrinkle baby girl. And it's a middle-aged priest with an exorbitant amount of trauma. You know, it's nice that you replace the invasive band member species with actual magical girls. Yeah, just doing my part for the magical girl population conservation. Many wonderful women are congratulating me for my fantastic ability to open the microwave door right before it beeps. They're cheering my name, and everyone is so happy. And yet, my burrito is still cold in the middle. So I get to perform my trick for them again. Ugh, my talent. It's really funny when edgy dudes are like, Humans are unnatural. We are the only species that will consume so many resources that the land cannot sustain us and still continue to reproduce. Name one other species that does that. You know, because like, off the top of my head, deer? Cows? You know? I can't believe I fell for that. Look angry and upset and hope someone saves you shit in high school. How boring. What an awful way to live. I want to be so warm that people are gently warmed when they're around me. Like a soup. Like a soup. I accidentally told my friend the sweetest pickup line ever. I started talking about solipsism, the belief that everyone around you was created by your mind, and I went, if everything around me is all my imagination, then you're the best thing I've come up with. She was speechless for a solid five minutes. Oh my God. Right now, one down. If I could breathe underwater, you would never see me again. You'd see me five minutes later because my foot touched something. I am both of these people. 
Girl, help! I once again created an OC impossible to make it a character creator. Ah, every time. I am consuming a media and you're going to hear about it. And the thrilling sequel. I consumed a media months ago and you are still hearing about it. And the cautionary conclusion. The media has consumed me. Oh no. Jojo's right behind me! Evil powers activate! <laughs> sir? Sir? Are you aware of your kitten-like nature? Can you comprehend you are kitten patties? Possibly the world's smallest creatures. Can you? When I was little, I liked ravioli. But I guess somewhere I noticed that meant boiling cheese. And I stopped. Thanks! I no longer want to eat ravioli now either. Writing prompt. You are a god. Centuries ago, people used to worship you. They prayed and celebrated in your name. But you were forgotten and fell into deep sleep. One day, a little girl left a piece of candy on the ruins of your altar. You have woken up. And now, you have to protect her in her kindergarten. I feel like this is the start of a mascot horror game. Don't like it. Rambo! I want to stare your brain. Yeah, all you would find is that I just have a guy playing solitaire in there. I call him James. All right, look, if you can't imagine your video game boss fight during the rock solo of an Evanescence song, is it even a good boss fight? <laughs> you shut your mouth! Hey, Parky! Can you give me a reason to not slaughter everyone around me? Most people are just silly billies like you and me. I mean, look at that voice he just gave you. That was weird. Two-factor authentication, verification code, volume warning, fingerprint scanner. Ugh! Why don't we go back to cup and string? You'd like cup and string. It was great. Girl, I am in awe of your tism. Ah, thanks. I'm in awe of your stim, too. Wait a minute. Can I come in? I don't know. Can you? Cursing quietly, the vampire backed away, foiled yet again by the English teacher's pedantry. Perceive! A raccoon introduces his silly and hairless brother to his friends. <gasps> oh my god. As a baby. You know, kind of fucked up how plants grow and move about so much, but only when you aren't looking. Maybe I want to see. Just let me see. Listen, trans people are not a threat. Gay people are not a threat. Specifically, I am the threat. Give me your liver. This item is called the Dingray. Shout out to all the D&D bards who are taking this into their next battle. Yivu, are you gay? I want a lawyer. In what way? Thinking of the time I ordered Olive Garden online and I put, please speak to me in Italian accent in the special request category and completely forgot about it. And when I went to pick it up, the guy comes out and goes, hey, I got your little bottle boopy. And when I told him he didn't actually have to do that, he was like, ah, no, I was looking forward to it. I was the only one brave enough to do it. Yes. I would have tipped him 50 fucking percent. Be behold. Glue brush pack? Sure. YouTube, I swear it's glue. All oh, right, the glue brush. The brush made specifically to help me draw glue for all the glue I plan on drawing. That glue brush. YouTube, I swear it's glue! Who wants to see my cat totally brave and not at all scared at the vet? Excellent. Here she is, being super brave. Oh, baby. Ten or eleven little ducks have been spotted crossing the dashboard. <sighs> so that's where the ducks from our game went, Andy. So, um, your vegan boyfriend had some chicken parmesan, and now the vegan police have got him. Yeah, he's dust now. Gonna start saying you couldn't make X movie today, but for reasons unrelated to political correctness. So, you couldn't make Home Alone 2 lost in New York today because the strict airport regulations put into place after 9-11 make it nigh impossible for a child to simply walk into the wrong plane. Oh my god, they're right.
It's like the same argument that you couldn't do Seinfelds anymore because 99% of the plots could have been resolved if people had cell phones. Hey, Pucky. Why weren't you considered for the Tumblr sexy man poll? They want to give the lessers a chance. I am fighting this unending dread with the strongest meal on planet Earth. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese trots. Only God will know my wrath. Hey, Google. Search beautiful rocks, dear me. Oh, man, that's a good one. You know what's another good one? Kevin. Employees act like it's a job. Sentence I found on a grocery store review. Yeah. We've had our fair share of Tumblr sexy man on this side, but I think it's time to usher in a new era. The Tumblr silly guys. Reblog if you want Tumblr silly guys to be the next big thing. Hey, uh... Not to be selfish or anything, but, uh, where's me? Or MK? Or Oz Media? Where are we at? Every word that starts with an N should have a silent G in front. Norway? Nuclear? Nervous system? Nipples? You know, at some point my brain decided, based on the word knee, that body parts beginning with an N sound should have a silent K, particularly the word neck. So I'm against nipples wholeheartedly. It should clearly be nipples. Okay, how about a compromise? G in words and K in words get switched. So now it's kneecaps and knowledge, but it's also gnome and Gnosticism. The problem is, is that it doesn't account for the original dilemma, which was nipples versus nipples. I, for one, think it should be nipples, like pneumonia. Okay, but what about nipples like mnemonic? This is the kind of content I remain for, and y'all provide on the regular. I love you. Female presenting nipples. The fuck are you people doing? Trying to invent neo French? <laughs> Don't you mean neo French? Hey, PM, I think it'd be really funny if whenever you ask Andy to do something, you would say, Andy, my Mandy, then ask him to do a thing. Maybe at a that would be grandy. To be silly. Yeah, I'm responding to this just to see what would happen for the video. Andy, my Mandy, would you please add in a cute little hamster? That would be grandy. The hamster sends his regards. Hey, Parker! I did think you could win against an orangutan. How much time do I have to prepare for the orangutan? As much time as you want, but the orangutan also gets that prep time. Okay, I choose 45 years and he dies of old age. In 45 years of prep time, that orangutan has made and trained a successor who's coming to beat your ass now. Yeah, well, uh, in 45 years of prep time, I politicize my anti-orangutan ideals and garner support. I tell them made up stories of their savagery, they become public enemy number one, I become head of office, I force an anti-orangutan ordinance, create an orangutan extinction squad, and play the waiting game. I uh, sign an agreement with the southeastern countries, Brunei, Burma, Cambodia, Timor-Leste, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam to enact consecutive strikes in their jungles to rid the world of our greatest threat, the orangutan. The successor's no more. They never said that the successor was also an orangutan. Get back, get back, all of you get back! I think you need a therapist. Literally, you are not normal. Tumblr is my therapist, bitch. Hey, listen, your he him got loose and he 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 all the way home, by the way. Hey, this one. Tumblr is a game you play until one of your posts wind up on r slash Tumblr and gets put in a PM Seymour Oz Media video. This is the game over screen. As with SimCity, there is no victory condition on Tumblr. Oh, you done fucked up now. Oz Media. Get him. Hi, Vex. Guess who? <laughs> Game over, Vex! Welcome to the land of Tumblr, where the genders are queer and the Neros are divergent. You, ma'am, are nothing less than a queen and deserve to be treated as one. However, as a court jester, I am legally required to mark you every chance I get, and you can't do a thing about it. <laughs> Why is a sword pointed at me? 
Calling a stranger online bestie is the modern equivalent of going up to a stranger in an old tavern and calling them my friend. Hail, bestie! What news of the northern realms hath you to deliver? Absolute vibes, my esteemed friend. Characters who are so inauthentic. Characters who will only show what they want other people to see of them. Characters who simply must have control over every part of themselves. Do you even get it? The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Fortunately, I have a third thing. Evil wizard, is it bones? I am the inventor of the skull emoji. Ask me anything. You know, it was so brave of you to sacrifice your skull for an emoji. Very brave. So strong. New game show, Family Freud, rated wildly uncomfortable by 98% of all popular audiences. What the hell is Milf Manor? Oh, oh, evil wizard. You don't want to know. I think, unfortunately, they found out anyway. Every character that I find interesting or make myself are inevitably going to become comfort characters, even though they undoubtedly need a lot more comfort than I do. <laughs> Why do I do this? I wish he was real. <laughs> That's literally just a pigeon. Yeah, call me when a pigeon can learn heat wave and burn me alive like an egg on the sidewalk. That's why no one messes with Pidove. They call me a Rice crispy because I snap, snap, crackle, and pop. Arthritis is a big problem in my life. Sexualizing that old man is a full-time job. And brother, I've never called in sick. Hey, 2000s kids, you want to know something that's going to make you feel old as fuck? Frozen will be 10 years old this year. Just, it's great. It's so great. I am doomed by the narrative. Ignore that I am also the author of the narrative. Yeah, this is definitely Hamlet. Hey girl, just a heads up. I was talking to your boyfriend and he called the character exclusively referred to by their last name, by their first name. <sighs> yeah. When people call Edgeworth Miles, like, do you think you're on a first name basis with the man? I don't think he's on one with himself. Phineas and Furby, you where everything's the same except Phineas's head as a dodecahedron. Oh my god. Shout out to Boba Cupcake for making the most disturbing thing I've ever seen. Go, dice roll! Unionize with your fellow pedestrians. They can't run us all over. This is just how right away works on college campuses. I can't fire my headphones and target his clothes. This is a nightmare. Put an ant in each ear and they will sing to you. Not a half bad idea, actually. You know, I read this wrong and I thought you were still in target after closing time and your biggest concern was lack of music instead of the creature. The, the creature? Oh no. Okay, sir, which one of these dudes hit you? There, the guy in white. Yeah, really narrowed it down. Next, I'd like to thank someone very important to me. Someone who's always there. Always had my back even now. Someone who's always there when I'm lost and when I need to start over. Thank you, Diablo 2 Flavy. <sighs> Time to find out how to make money. Top side hustle no one knows about. Amazon drop shifting eBay thrifting. Just buy a house and rent it out. It's so easy. You have lost the children's card game. As per human tradition, you are now banished to hell. That's not a thing that happens. No, no, he's right. You are definitely going to hell with me right now. The only way we can have people be afraid of hell anymore is to tell them Yu-Gi-Oh players are here. So, away we go. Hey, looks like some crime is happening, rookie. Call in the SWAT team by pressing the button on the right. Why did you press that? You just killed a man! <laughs> Get away from me! Hey, I'm selling a bunch of shit at a garage sale. Sir, I will pay any price for this Digimon. $15. Welcome to P.F. Chang's, where we definitely have food. Definitely. Orange chicken. Fried rice. <sighs> Hey, I heard you're sad AF. Brought you some club crackers. I could only eat one. Yeah, don't worry, man. That's better than nothing. Man, all I could lift was this way today. I feel bad. No. 
Workout is the accumulation of hundreds of small steps. Every step is a step forward to the goal, whether that is weight loss or fighting demons. Today, you have made steps forward, and that is more than what most people will do. What was that part about demons? Welcome to your subconscious. It's that time in your life to pick which personality subclass you want. Depressed or well-adjusted? Before you pick, I just really have to tell you that I'd be the worst decision you could pick. Hey, you don't have to oversell yourself. I already picked you 30 seconds ago. Okay, man, let's try out some ver. Yeah, when can I be Kermit the Frog smoking a blunt? Well, we have some awesome productivity apps. Yeah, I don't care about productivity. I care about Kermit the Frog smoking a blunt. I made you a kosher sandwich. Are you sure this is kosher? Yes. It's a shalomi sandwich. <sighs> God damn it. Hey, man, you want a murder fact? No, I don't want another murder fact. Dear Lord, man, are all those facts you wrote down? I've been hyperfixated on True Crime Podcast. I'm going to email God to revoke your ear privileges. Um, excuse me. I'm the rat that lives in your walls. Do you want to come with me to the rat gala? Where is the rat gala? Your basement. Last year, Kelly said I could never net a man over 3.5 inches. God, what a bitch. Okay, good. Now make me an anime girl with boobs so big they're a bra size cup, which is a letter not yet even revealed to us by God. Kakarot, what are you doing? Vegeta, shut up! I'm listening to ASMR, the greatest fight in history! Heard from a distance, personal attention! <laughs> oh fuck, oh shit, you're so strong. I have to use my hidden power.